this fight, what could you say for the fans uh, to expect from this fight? You know, first of all, I'm very happy because I come back to boxing. Boxing again, you know, just May 5th is huge day for everybody, for boxing fans. Right now, just I come back. All right, Gennady, May 5th, you finally have an opponent. To, you have a fight. How much of a relief is that for you, and how happy are you that you're able to actually fight on May 5th? Yeah. You know, my focus right now, yeah, just for my next fight. This is my next fight. And thank you, my coach. You know, thanks my team who support me, you know, for this fight. Right now, just... Not lose this time, not lose this date, you know, just we come back, just I want to fight. I want to maybe three, four times per year. Just for me, it's too much long, you know, if I come back to September. Relief. Whew. I'm going to fight. Happy. You know, this is my job. This is, I know this job. This is my style. I want this fight. Vanessa said that he respects you for taking uh, or for offering the fight to him and he respects you as a clean fighter. What are your thoughts about him taking on the fight and the challenge very last minute? Yeah, you know, just I know Vanes a long time ago. I remember 2004 in Athens, yeah, in the Olympics, yeah. Yeah, he is a very good fighter. He's very strong fighter, you know. He has a strong team. You know, I respect him because, you know, he is a huge guy. He's from Cali, you know. He's, he's a good guy, you know. Really, he's a huge man, you know. He's not step back. Look at him. I think we all know what you bring to the table, but what do you see in Vanez that can cause a problem for you? Oh, he's a good fighter, really. You know, just I believe this is not easy fight. You know, so many people said, "Hey, easy fight for you." Mm, I don't know. Just this is boxing; nobody knows. Gennady, how hard has it to stay focused and not get stressed out? It's three weeks. You got to sell this fight. You got to do all this last minute. Has it been super stressful for you? Have you been able to focus? Not a lot, you know, not not big stress for me. Just, yeah, I won this fight. Right now it's changed. Every time it's changed. You know, I'm professional athletes. Just, I I believe to my style. I believe my power. Just, I believe I win. But now you only have three weeks to train for a different style. Is that a problem? No, not a big problem. I feel I feel great, you know, just my condition, all my power, just I believe just my style is much better. Do you think justice was served in um, Canelo getting the six month suspension? Was that a, were you happy with that? Seriously, I'm not thinking for Canelo, just I forgot him and just if Canelo legal, just come back to boxing, just we're talking for the next situation. That is a fight you won. Yes, September, absolutely. No? Yeah. Yep. Are you happy different measures to make sure more, te more testing or same testing before you fight Canelo again? Do you have to do anything different? For him, for, for him or for, for him, me? For him. This doesn't matter for me. You know, if legal, more testing or... I don't know, this is not my point. This is ask um, who, just... Gennady, maybe this question is valid. Um, when you spoke first about Gennady's uh, positive doping test, you also accused... Oscar De Leo being a cheater as well. I, uh, seriously, guys, I don't want talking for these guys. No, just for this team, for this situation. This is, Let's focus uh, on the May 5 fight. If, yeah. if Triple G doesn't win May 5, then there is no talk about Canelo. So we should just focus. How important is it that you knock him out? Defending your title for the 20th time. You're going to be defending your title for the 20th time. What are we going to see from you, the sink of the mind? You know, I'm a fighter. I'm a boxer. I'm coming to ring for my job. You know, this is second, you know, in my statistic, my record, you know, just I'm not thinking for it right now, just you know, I don't come comment for boxing for my record. No. Record is record. Gennady is wanna some of your fans wanna know when you come out, are you gonna be wearing Mexican colors to match your Mexican style <laughs> when you step in the ring with Vanes? You know, maybe. It's a little bit surprised. <laughs> hey Gennady, is this an easy fight? Do you see it as easy fight? Because fans that don't know much will look at Vanes and think, small guy. Coming up, easy fight, easy knockout. Ham present is not easy fight because I know on his long time, you know, he is a very good fighter. What what about him being a good fighter? What what does he do well that you see? Oh, he's very good boxer, you know. His style is very difficult. You know, he has very nice team, very strong team, you know, very good experience, you know, in boxing. 
They were in the and same Olympics together, 2004 Olympics. Uh, Vanas yeah. was on the American team and Gennady was on the Kazakh team. So they, they had a lot of amateur uh, history as well. Yeah. Okay. Gennady, you had an incredible knockout streak, but you haven't scored a knockout now since the Kell Brook fight. How hungry are you to get one? This is boxing, you know, just... I can't say yes, of course, it's very important for me, it's just I come for a knockout. No, this, nobody knows. Why was, at the end of the day, why was it it's so important for you to keep a fight on May 5th for you? Not May 5th, not very important. Yeah, of course, this is the biggest day for boxing, Cinco de Mayo. You know, I want to stay activity, you know. I don't want to wait uh, September or November, December and just lose uh, just one year, two years, you know, this. Come on, guys. I want uh, three, four, five fights per year, you know. I want to stay activity. Just right now, I'm very happy because I come back to boxing. Not because I have fight with Vanes or I have fight. No, just I want to. A victory over Vanes will get you to 20 title defenses and match Bernard Hopkins' record. How important is that for you? Forgot. Forgot. Ask later. Finale, are you worried about uh, the IBF belt and that whole situation? It's kind of out of your hands, but are you worried about it? Seriously, I'm a fighter. I come into ring. You know, this is my job. Not this you know, belt. Like, it's my job know, to worry about the IBF belt. He's uh, focused yeah. on the fight, and, and I'm worrying about all the, all the titles. He wanted to fight. May, you know, he wanted to fight. He was in the middle of the training camp. And so he wanted to stay active, just like he said, and, and, and that's what we're doing. And Vanus, we have to give him a lot of respect. He was in training. You know, Don King called, said Vanus is, uh, you know, available for the opportunity. And this is a huge opportunity for Vanus. Look, if there's an upset on May 5, it's a huge opportunity for him, and he's very hungry. So you can't discount that. And, and uh, Gennady, it's his job to go in there and defend defend his title. So that, that's... How important it is to him to unify all the belts? So obviously that situation... It's a little different than just kind of when, when you have a lot of titles, you have a lot of mandatory obligations. And, uh, you know, we filed for the exception. It's, it's not unusual, especially with the IBF, because they have such stringent rules. Uh, if you have a long-time champion and a unified champion like Triple G, sometimes you have to file for an exception. So we did that, and we'll hear probably the end of this week or beginning of next week how they rule on the exception. Tom, what are your thoughts on the middleweight record? Gennady Look, Gennady, if, if I'm correct, he's the longest reigning champion right now in, in the sport of boxing. So, uh, like he said, he's not focused on the record. He just wants to fight. He wants to, you know, show that he's the best. And, and Vanus right now is, is the person that's, uh, that's in front of him. And, uh, you know, his career will be judged. You know, I think a lot of people thought that nobody would ever touch Bernard Hopkins' record because of how long he, he boxed. And 20 title defenses is a huge record. And if he can accomplish that, and uh, potentially break it this year. That's a that's a huge accomplishment from my standpoint uh, in this sport of boxing. Gennady, a lot of stuff has happened with all this. A lot of bad experiences. Do you still love boxing? Do you still like boxing? Do you still look forward to all this, or is it kind of not so much? Good word, love. No, this is business. This is boxing business. Everybody understand right now. This is boxing business. So no love anymore. It's just business. This is business. Nobody love. <laughs> difficult business like this business. No, this is <laughs> job. Yeah, place. right. Vanna yeah. said that you ha they have the blueprint. Apparently, everyone has a blueprint when they come in to fight you and they've all failed. Why do you think they are going to come in and try to take your belts from you? Mm. With the blueprint they supposedly have. Mm. It's new for me. It's news for me. New news for me. You know, just... Come on, guys, this is boxing. If you like boxing, just watch my fight. That's it. You know, that's it. Just not questions. Yeah, of course. Yeah. It's not hype, though, to say that this is probably the most distracted you've ever been going into a fight, right? Right, absolutely. Yeah. This is reality. Most unusual circumstances, that's for sure. Yeah. yeah. What did you make of uh, Jamal Charlo? Because he's the mandatory now. He holds a, another WBC title. Is that a fight that you see that could maybe happen in a year or so? That's all just, yeah, of course, just, you know, just... Right now, my focus, my focus on next fight, May 5th. If he won, of course, we'll talk after my fight. If I win, if I win. Gennady, uh, Vanis just momentarily uh, said that his wife's favorite fighter is you. And <laughs> <laughs> what do you <laughs> Big compliment. Thank you, yeah, this is a big compliment. Just no, uh, thank you. First of all, thanks for fans, boxing fans, and people who support me. This is very important for boxing. Gennady, Vanis said excited that he wasn't going to have to look for you, that he wasn't fighting a boxer. I've never heard a fighter say that they were excited about you putting pressure on them. Like, he said that. I mean, that you know, he, he's, he's a real guy, you know. Look, at him. he's not scary. He's a real guy, you know, just the same. I understand he's he feeling because I am very excited, too, because I come back to boxing. Right now I have opponent. 
you know, I told you, Vanes, he is not an easy guy. You know, he is tall, he is strong, he has a strong team. You know, this is very interesting. He, he's excited that he won't have to look for Vanes also. Like with Canelo, he was chasing him around the ring, and Vanes is going to be there. And there's going to be a lot of excitement on, uh, on May 5th. Tom, you know, Spike O'Sullivan was considered, but Vanes is clearly a better fighter than him. I mean, he's an Olympian, you know. We feel that, that Vanes has better credentials than, than Spike, and there's nothing against Spike. He's fighting on, on Friday night, and he's got a great opportunity on ESPN. But, um, you know, naturally the financials change when you're going from pay-per-view and a big arena in Las Vegas to regular HBO and, and the StubHub Center. Gennady holds the, the attendance record at the StubHub Center. But, um, you know, we weren't able to work out the deal with Spike. But uh, we feel Vonis, especially being rated number one in the WBC, it's, uh, he's a very credible opponent. And you see that uh, the popularity, you see, uh, you know, his fans from uh, Glendale, you know, he's got a very strong fan base here in Los Angeles. So it just made sense all the way around when Don King said that uh, he was interested in the fight. Also a tougher opponent for Gennady. We, we feel that, that way, yeah. It's, uh, look, nobody can underestimate Vonis. He's very hungry. When you have a hungry fighter like that that has that amateur experience, has that world-class experience that uh, Vonis has, especially with the TV exposure, Vonis isn't going to be intimidated walking in that ring. They were chomping at the bit to get this opportunity, and they wouldn't have uh, tried so hard to get the opportunity if they were intimidated or if they felt they didn't have a chance. What do you think you still have left to prove in the sport? I know you say you don't worry about you know, the streak and anything, but what do you still feel you need to do in this sport? What do you need to accomplish? Is there anything else you think you need to do? You know, I love this sport, boxing, you know. I know this business. I know this sport. This maybe, you know, not a lot. I bring not a lot, you know, for this sport. Just right now I feel great, you know. Last, how many, seven, nine, eight years, I'm still champion. Yeah. A lot of people want to see you move up and wait. Is it, are we ever going to see that before your career is over? Do you think I'm very know? small guy. Look, <laughs> Vanes <laughs> Van is more bigger than me. <laughs> so no, no, you stay 160. You're no, no going anywhere. You know, just 160. You know, just not because I stay 160. Like you know, just okay. If I have big fight, of course I come. Just who? With who? Who would that be? Who? Has to be a name for okay, yeah. Name? Who? Tell me. Yeah. The, big, the biggest names yeah, are biggest in middleweight right now. Yeah. Yeah. Saunders, Charla. All right, guys, we're going to yeah. bring in here if we can let the video out. Thank you. Let's think, um, Thank you. I was speaking to Dimitri Bibo. He's a big fan of yours. What do you think of Dimitri Bibo and him being a fan of you? How do you take that? Who? Dimitri Bibo. Oh, Bivo. Oh, Bivo. Bivo, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, he's you told me he likes your style. He's you know, he, this guy, he's from Russia. You know, he brings like, you know, new school, like Russian school, like very interesting. Yeah, very interesting. Right now, just he maybe he's changed situation in light heavyweight division. You no, know, I believe it. No, everybody has chance. How would you like him against uh, Sergey Kovalev? How would he fare? Yeah. I don't know. You know, just it's different for me. You know, I don't know heavyweight. I don't know, like you know. Small guys, you know, just. Did you say print? Right, guys, I know, only middleweight division. Let's bring the print guys in. Thank you guys. Thank you guys. Right here.